Hello everyone and welcome back to another session with Paintology. On this occasion we're going to try and paint along together. So I hope you can follow my video tutorial, the video that's found uh, on the uh, toggle button that you'll see on the bottom left. So I have this in landscape mode and we're going to try and draw this traced image that should be loaded on your canvas. And to our left is the trace bar, as you can see. So it goes up and down. You'll notice that I've already pre-selected the uh, background color, which is the color found on this, just by using the the um, the color picker here on the left and choosing the background color. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So there's no one single way of doing a drawing. That's the beauty of uh, doing art. Uh, you can go about it in so many different ways. I have my own approach and it seems to work well for me, but I'm sure everyone can develop their own approach. So, And it's always nice to see people adopting different, different methods to a drawing and that's the beauty of art. Okay, so Firstly, we and the way what I do is I tend to outline the old drawing as and I've already picked the background color. So I've already selected a brush that I like. Um, there is quite a few that I could choose, but I've selected grass. And then I have the density and hardness midway. So to give me some opacity, some translucency when I do the outline, I don't want it to make it too bold because usually I like going over it. Just like with a pencil, when you go over it, you tend to make the um, the actual etching uh, a little bit more defined. So first, first a very loose drawing that I'm going to do initially, which is the outline of the whole picture. So with this setting, and I'll show you what it looks like here. There it is. So let's get rid of that, and then Go half slightly, halfway, a third of the way, and then just basically just outline. Don't worry about the details, and don't worry about getting it all right. These are leaves. I uh, have the shape of the leaves here. The nice flowers here. So I'm using a Galaxy Tab A and I have a stylus here which I prefer to use when I'm drawing. Gives me more better control. But you could use your fingers as well. That's another kind of effect you can achieve. And of course you can use your fingers own phone. This is a nine point oops nine point seven inch tablet. So okay so let's see how we're doing. Let's go back and let's coming together. Just the outline because outline defines what you're gonna draw inside and there's plenty of scope for doing that. So just quickly going over it, not caring too much about the detail, just the shape and form. I, I picked this image because it seemed attractive both from a point of view that it wasn't too difficult for anyone to do and it was also a nice simple image. Nature is always a good subject to draw. I, I usually enjoy drawing landscapes and such things. Okay, just this purple flower area to go. Again, you're going to un learn about shading and shading is done through having the density settings and all that. Okay, So let's see what it looks like. 
Yes, I mean you can see there's this form there. Now, the, the approach I'm going to use is I'll pick a color. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the colors that, that are on the actual image, although you could pick with the color picker, but I'll just go ahead and use colors uh, from the palette and then I'll put down for the flowers and the leaves the basic colors. Okay, so I know this line size is too small, so I'm going to increase that and then first work out a line size that will work. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, that looks good. And then, and then I may bring down the density and hardness just a tad, so I have better ability to work on the shading. So here, so I'm going to pick just that purple, very distinct color there. So let's go ahead, pick that. Okay. And then just go over that. Okay, so the purple area is there. Okay, and then there's a little bit of purple around the edge here, so I'll just dab dab at that. And there's a little bit of a lighter purple on the other side, which I will just go back to that palette, go, go a bit lighter, and then just select that, okay, as you can see. Now there's a lot of green here, as you can see. So you can notice there's a darker green in the region around the purple flowers or dark green. So I'll start off with a medium tone of green. That will work for me. Yeah, so let's go for that. Let's see what that looks like. This is what it appears. So I think that looks good. So just go over shade. You know, because of the this, it's just random. That's why you don't pay too much details right at the beginning. You're just creating shape form. I still got some of that traced image on the background, although I don't need it as such. But it does tell me where the darker tones will be. So in that case, I can go over a few times over that area, right, like around here. So. Okay. Oh, we got some nice little purple there, which I missed early on. So let's go back to my purple and add that. Okay, that looks good. So now, just for fun, we'll do that red. This looks like an IKEA scissors you might be familiar with. So let's go ahead and do the scissors. Go into the red, again keeping the same. Okay, you see by keeping the hardness there, the half the hardness setting, as you can see, density and hardness, uh, sort of a third way up, we can actually keep building on the uh, density of that of the image so let's see let's see more of the tones dark here around the purple some dark of the flowers and very dark here dark there dark on the under on the right side dark on the stems here okay so 
So I think we can sort of go a bit darker. Let's see if that happens. Yes. So just load the size again. So I'm not actually following the image, I'm sort of going by what I feel would give us a bit more depth. See there. Okay. So we know that these stems, you see? Uh, how that builds up the stems here. And then we could increase the density to make the stems more pronounced. And so, okay, so let's see how it's looking. Yeah, there's some white, white there, which I will add later on, which will, you'll see, will look quite nice. And got that green, there's a dark green on this leaf down at the bottom left, and then a lighter pale green. So let's pick the dark green. That's quite fairly dark. So, so introduce it a little bit more. Because this is small, small leaves makes sense to it makes sense to uh, keep this uh, the brush size as small as possible Okay, so now I will uh, add a little bit more white green and perhaps increase the density a little bit more or density and hardness and see what happens there. Okay, you see there these multitude of colors add dimension to it. You can see that that wasn't so much green. So you can see there. So it's like, it's like as you would do shading. Again, very random movements not particularly following anything you know we can keep building it okay you can see there's there was white around that so let's shoot for the white Around here, around these flowers. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Again, maybe tone down the hardness of that. So give it a Okay, we can see that there is definitely the IKEA scissors here. I 
let's have a look. Yep. And then you notice that they're around here. There's the white. And there's. So that's okay. And then. So now we can make the flowers stand out a little bit more, we'll go back to our purple, and then go back to our purple. You can see that because we've got the density higher, we can add. Now also the strokes that I'm doing help to keep the shape, you know. So a look. Yep, so it's not bad. So now we can keep, keep building. So because we've got a high density, higher density settings here, not, you know, you can see it's halfway now. We can actually create more definition around select the lighter green so this gives it more form as you can see just by changing the settings but without taking too much of the previous color away okay okay so keep doing that then maybe we can go to even lighter and increase. Let's see what happens. It's all about experimenting. Then you'll see I'm going to actually create and get the opposite color. So you can see I use tones to now make them stand out. 
it's I'm going very quickly. Okay, I'm going to go even darker here. See how that pops out a bit more. So, you know, we could do the same thing for the purple. select a different the lighter purple go even darker even darker so it doesn't matter what color so let's see what happens here because this now is really dark could define let me go a little bit loose the stems the stems as you can see the green a little bit maybe introduce the to give it the effect of the leaves flowers here See what happens if we go right on the other side where it's very really white. Yes. Yes. You know, just to add see how I'm very careful not to overdo it, the white, because it's quite really hard tone um, 
use drugs. Why not? Okay, and then maybe go with the opposite here with the black. Same thing. And then yeah, we can try and get this up a bit, the dark. That is very dark. You can see, so you gotta be careful how you use that. Simple strokes, nothing ran. Right, I think, um, you know, I can call that done. Let me just write down paintology on this. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Here is what the original looks like. Nothing like the original, but you see it went creative with the whole thing. And you, you, you can see how, how you could also make this pop out. Okay, well, thank you for watching until... Uh, so some other time, yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye.